Since I was a very young girl, I decided that I will be successful by working for myself, and real estate was what I knew I wanted to do. I've been passionate about real estate since I was 19 and worked very hard at several jobs to save up for the down payment to purchase my very first home. Since then, I've been accumulating assets in several states and working on investments around the world. One property at a time, which included rentals, land, investment homes, and in 2007, I decided to get my real estate license simply to be able to search and find the deals on my own and represent myself in the transactions. Quite frankly, to save myself a lot of money. To be successful as a real estate investor, you must educate yourself and know what you're doing or find a mentor and work with someone who is knowledgeable, experienced, and knows exactly what they're doing. There are many avenues to real estate investing and you must decide what your goals are whether you want to invest in rentals for a long-term hold or purchase for short-term flips. Keep in mind to be open-minded, emotion-free, and be okay to roll with the punches because as you're learning, you may encounter challenges and setbacks. But if you are anything like me, then you will most certainly enjoy the ride as you gain more knowledge while making money. Best to simplify and focus on the points that are most important in starting this process. So without further ado, here are my tips for being a successful investor slash flipper. Step number one, the right mentor or the right real estate agent. If you are new to investments and flipping, the most important part is finding the right mentor or real estate agent who is knowledgeable and experienced and can help you step by step with this process. The agent should have all the proper people in place to make sure that this process is as easy and smooth as possible for you as a buyer and or a seller. Title companies, escrow companies, lenders, home inspectors, home warranty companies, and contractors may all be needed for your transaction. Your experienced agent will also give you a complete breakdown of how much everything will cost and projection of your net profit. Your mentor or agent should also be a good communicator or therapist as you may sometimes need encouraging words. Number two, uh, money to invest. It's quite important that you have the money and ready to buy, whether it's cash, hard money loan, or traditional bank loan. You must have this ready to show either by bank statements or proof of funds for cash and a pre-approval letter from a lender for loans. Cash is how I bought almost all of my properties. It is much easier to use cash to negotiate since some of the distressed properties may not qualify for a loan. They may not qualify because there may be too many repairs needed, in which case appraisals and inspections may have to be waived. Cash is still king, especially when it comes to negotiating deals and a quicker close. But if you're looking to leverage your money and you can in fact qualify, then you should definitely look into obtaining a loan. Step number three is finding the deals, finding the properties. There are many places to search and find deals, but only if you know where to look. It's a lot easier if there were substantial amounts of short sales and foreclosures. I have many outlets in search of these distressed properties. Trustee sale, auction houses, government sites, for sale by owners, etc. But even after knowing where to look, it will only get you so far because you will need to know what steps to take to obtain the properties. Once the property is located and selected, you must try to get into the properties to view and evaluate how much work or repairs will be needed. You must be able to calculate all costs and time frame to determine if this will be a good investment. This would include the price of the property bought, the repair, the rehabbing, the expense costs, the time it will take to sell, all associated closing costs, and the future sales price. I usually do the estimated worst case scenario numbers so I can be pleasantly surprised at the end. Now, this doesn't happen too often, but I have bought properties sight unseen, which means um, I did not view the properties. I bought it based on a couple of pictures or a drive-by. It's kind of like gambling, and I don't recommend someone doing this, but if the market is a hot buyer's market and you have a lot of competition, sometimes you just trust your gut, flip a coin, and go with it. Fortunately for me, though, these few deals worked out very well. Step number four, which is the repair and the rehabbing. This is best when you already have efficient and re reliable work crews in place. I usually have two types of crews depending upon what type of properties I'm flipping. The general contractors who can do the larger and more high-end properties. I also have uh, the affordable handyman crews that can do and manage similar types of jobs, but for smaller and less expensive homes. 
Now, since I've been doing this for quite a while, I'm able to walk through a house and guesstimate exactly what needs to be done, the materials needed, and the labor costs. Most of the time, I select and purchase the materials myself. Home Depot and Lowe's is like my second home. I really enjoyed this aspect because I knew exact cost and I'm you know, able to keep a fairly good perspective. Now, I do understand pe that people have different tastes and budgets, but this is the part where you can indeed use your creativity and determine for yourself how you would like to design the home and even how much of a budget you are willing to spend. If you are savvy and familiar with what is out there, then you will see that there are many upgraded materials that are quite affordable. So, is it that easy, or do we seasoned investors just make it look easy? This entire home flipping process can be very educational and fun, or a complete nightmare. As you make your acquisitions one property at a time and learn as you go, it can become you know, easier. But on this journey, good help and assistance from the right people is the key to achieving success, peace of mind, happiness, and profit. If this is the path that you would like to venture into, remember to enjoy the journey and good luck to you.